this weekend, I decided to resurrect my bird bath. In the process, I realized my brush pile needed a facelift. It had been five years since I had built it. How did I know? Because there were five Christmas trees to prove it. Let's get to work. The first step was to clear away all of the brush from behind my bird bath. Looks like I have a ways to go to connect the bird bath all the way up to where the birds are up in the trees. I guess that means it's time to bring on the tools. After clearing out all the brush, I put a single post in the ground here to build off of. Then I screwed in a few cross beams here to give me more options for structuring the branches when I start to rebuild the brush pile. Next, I put four of my five Christmas trees back in the brush pile. One, two, three, and four in the corner. Next, I started layering branches onto the support beams, even nailing a few to the support beams themselves. I even tried to provide special branches for the birds to perch on for easy viewing. All my work turned this into this, and I even added that fifth Christmas tree. Well, I finally got the brush pile built and the bird bath running. Let's take a look. First of all, here's the cross beams on which I laid sticks crossways to create a framework inside of the brush pile. That gives structure, yet spaces inside for the birds to freely move about. And it provides a framework to build upwards. I poked branches in the ground down here, pressing them into the soil so that I could lay branches coming out from the brush pile down to the waterfall giving birds a pathway to the water. Also, I have branches going around the bird bath to the bathing area over here. Notice how I intentionally placed sticks leading from the brush pile all the way into the water, and that you have water of varying depths for different sized birds. I built the structure and framework tall enough that it reaches to the bottom branches of this basswood tree here in my yard, which then connects to the birds that are utilizing the tree up above, whether they be warblers in migration or local nesting birds. The stairway pathway from the trees down to the brush pile and down to the bird bath is essential in attracting and then observing birds in your backyard. The final element to complete your brush pile is to have adequate ground cover. In front of the bird bath, I have planted some wild ginger, which you can't see real obviously right now, but it should be greening up real soon. I also have some jack in the pulpit right over here that seems to be just barely peeking out. and some ostrich fern over here. Behind the waterfall, I have a nice patch of bloodroot, which continues behind over here, and over on this side, I have some more ostrich fern right here, and I've had some May apple right here. I don't si see any sign of it yet, but I'm hopeful that it'll return again this spring. At the base of my tree here, I planted some Virginia creeper and it's firmly established here and is climbing up the side of the tree, the trunk of the tree, and uh, provides some nice greenery. And I'm hopeful that 
it extends itself out onto the brush pile here to provide nice greenery throughout the summer months. Now that the work is complete, let's see if it pays off with some action in the bird bath and in the brush pile. This female cardinal was one of the first visitors to my brush pile. Watch as it descends from in the brush pile down to the bird bath to get a drink. Notice how cautious it is as it approaches the water, looking for threats all around it and using each stair step to get down to the water. Birds put themselves at significant risk when they put their heads down to get a drink, so they require the utmost comfort from surrounding shelter if they're to stick around for a lengthy drink. Following the female's lead, this male cardinal also came in for a drink. Now watch as the male takes it a step further and goes in for a bath as well. For more information about backyard habitats for birds, See the links in the description below. Thanks for watching and happy brush piling.